the day that the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah, hallelujah. To God be the glory for all the good things he's done in our lives. Hallelujah, praise the Lord. Love you. That's why we're going to talk about the scripture today. And that's why you see my title, Teaching the Gospel of Yeshua's Way. And I explain that because somebody asked what Yeshua means. What the law could not do. That's going to be coming out of Romans 8, verse 3. We can fulfill the law daily by love. And my, what I'm saying for people is each day when we get into the scriptures, they're going to say, give us this day. See, Yesterday, you may have jacked up some of you crossed the guardrails, but the day you can clean that up and say, I'm not going to cross that guardrail today. I'm not going to do, I'm not going to hate somebody today. I'm not going to do some bad thing. I'm not going to steal today. I'm going to, I'm going to operate the way God wants me to operate. And you get a chance to do that daily. And that's, that's very critical for every believer. Because yeah, the world don't the world don't believe forgive you. <laughs> the law doesn't forgive you. The law loves to sit there and uh, lock you up. You know, the law has no sympathy. <laughs> so that's why I'm saying is daily is the have you prayed today, people? Uh, is the fact is that you use the the Lord's prayer as a template. It's not you have to do it verbatim. But it does have critical components to have you walk this walk daily, you know. So therefore, I read this and saying, after this manner, therefore, pray you. Once again, you don't have to do this verbatim, but God recommend Christ taught this as a, it's a method of prayer. And I like to do is I do the Lord's Prayer in entirety. Then I just go and do my random uh, things I want to pray about to God through my Savior, Jesus Christ. So first of all, I said, our Father, which are in heaven, A, a personal relationship is established. A, a specific location that we're praying to, prayer, which is in heaven. Hallowed be that name, glorifying him, because we're talking about he's God and there's no other God beside him. That's who we worship. That kingdom come, that he's king in your life. He's Lord in your life, amen? That will, and that is critical. I want everybody to understand it is his will that we want to do in our life, just like Christ did in the Garden of Gethsemane. Nevertheless, he, I mean, Christ had a looking, was looking at different alternatives and maybe how we can get this stuff done. But in the end, he said, nevertheless, let thy will be done. And guess what the Lord's prayer, I call it a reminder's prayer, is remind us, live by the will of God so that thy will be done in earth as it is in heaven. That's why we know that the lynching and, the, and, the, and all the atrocities that, that, that hurt that occurred in the past and all the systemic things that's happening today, that is not going into heaven. You know, and I had that, just like I told somebody last week, the fact is that in 1 Timothy 2, 4, his will for all men to be saved. And the fact is in Revelation 7, 9, there's going to be all kindreds and nations and tongues and people in heaven around the throne of God. And therefore, if you got problems with people, you got problems with diversity. If you got problems with people got a color of the skin, whether they're black or white or whatever, you got a problem and that will is, you, you probably don't want to go to heaven. You need to go to hell. But the problem with that in hell is you're gonna find a whole diversity of people in hell too. So you can't get you can't get over it. So love one another. <laughs> God got it. <laughs> that will be done in earth as in heaven. Give us this day. That's the whole thing I want you to say that you can fulfill the law this day. If you jacked it up yesterday, you can work on it this day. That's the critical piece I want you to understand. Every day is a beginning to get things right. If you got strongholds, you need to keep working on those strongholds daily. And God give you the mercy and the grace to do so. So give us this day our daily bread. And the daily bread, once again, is the word of God. Once again, is the will of God. If you operate on the will of God, you operate under the word of God, not on the legalism. Because legalism, anybody that's nasty and ugly to you, they ain't operating under the will of God. They're not operating in love, they're operating in their own flesh. Here's the key piece right here. And this is really a lot of cases when sermons have this message about forgiveness. 
It's, he's trying to tell us every day to forgive one another. That's why he said, forgive us of our debts as we forgive our debtors. You want to be forgiven, then you have to give, forgive others as well. And the way you forgive others is the way you're going to get forgiven. That's the principle laid out by God. It says here, lead us not into temptation. You want God to, to, to lead you, want the Holy Spirit to lead you away from and keeping you from crossing those guardrails we're talking about. So let's think about that. If you if you got hate, you got all that racism and everything else that goes along with it, you want to sit there and say, lead me not into temptation and do that, but deliver me from evil. And don't become evil. Cause that's the whole problem. The people that look at you, the people that are upset with the church and left the church and everything else, because you present and operate yourself in an evil way instead of a way of love. People can live, people can receive love, but people definitely don't like to receive hate. And that's what some of the things that some of the some of the evangelicals and some of the uh, political parties and all that other junk shows hate. Some of us to sit there and have. Uh, I guess a zeal for saying they want to lift up the standards, but they lift it up the standards of hate. And you don't do that because they don't work. They don't mix together. Love covers a multitude of sin, not hate, not the flesh. And, and once again, it's for thine is the kingdom. He's the power. He's the glory. That's who we want to sit there and work on. Understand that God is your king. He is your king. He has the power, the ultimate power. People are killing themselves. People are sitting there fighting over the political parties, fighting over the White House and everything else for power's sake that is always diminishing and is not eternal. The eternal power belongs to God and the glory belongs to God. Instead of sitting there, even for yourselves, people, trying to get glory for yourself, you need to understand that glory goes to God. And if you could just let yourself go and get rid of the vainglory, you you have less weight on your life because it's not about you, about you, it's about him. Amen. And then the fact is in 14 says, for if you give men their trespasses, your heavenly father also forgive you. That Christ put that in there. He did the Lord's prayer. He said, this is a matter of how you pray. And he, he wanted to put this back in there again, that you must forgive one another. Because verse 15 said, but if you forgive me and not their trespasses, neither will your father forgive your trespasses. So remember that. It's so critical. That's what love is all about. You have to forgive your mama. You have to forgive your daddy. You have to forgive your brother and sister. And some of us have no problem doing that. We, we may get mad, and then some people do hold on, even with family members, not, you know, unforgiveness. But the bottom line is, he said, forgive one another. All right. So now with that in mind, uh, and the fact that it was a new commandment, let's look at the, 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 the commandment that we are supposed to be Christians. Hello, anybody out there? Anybody heard, hearing the words that are coming out of my mouth? If you say you are a Christian, then Christ left a commandment for you. And it's if, 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 if the, this guardrail is the better, best guardrail of all. This is what he said in John 13, 31. Therefore, when he has gone out, Jesus said, Yeshua, now is the Son of Man glorified and God is glorified in him. He's even telling us once again, glorify God. If God be glorified in him, God shall also glorify him in himself and shall straightway glorify him. Little children, out yet a little while with you. You shall seek me, and as I said unto the Jews, whether I go, you cannot come. So now I say unto you, a new commandment I give unto you. Listen with Christ. This is those who call themselves Christians. I think that's right, brother Asen, right? Those who call themselves Christians, right? So so those of you that call yourself Christian, instead of those people seeing people who call themselves Christians, understand this is what a Christian is supposed to do. A new commandment I give unto you that you love one another as I have loved you, that you also love one another. By this shall all men know that you are my disciples if you have love for one another. Now, therefore, I'm telling people, the Bible says a tree is known by its fruit. If you see hate, spitting out somebody call yourself a Christian 
then he's not following the commandments of God. He's not following the commandment of Christ. As a matter of fact, let's go to the commandments of God, because that's what we're going to get to. And before we get there, this is what people use to control one another. And as believers, you're not supposed to operate in condemnation. Brother Eisen, go ahead and break that down for us, brother. I, you didn't know the scriptures were coming. So brother Eisen, he does it by raw. He doesn't even know these scriptures are coming on, up man. until he actually <laughs> see them. So that's a, that's a blessing itself. I mean, no, but God could come out of his mouth when he finished reading these, as he read these scriptures. Go ahead, brother. These scriptures, huh? <laughs> <laughs> okay. There is therefore now no condemnation to them no. which are in Christ Jesus. Come on. Let me read that again. Mm. There is therefore now, now. no condemnation mm. to them which are in Christ Jesus. Yeshua, Come on. Yeshua, yes, sir. Who walk not after the flesh, but after the spirit. Come on. For the law of the spirit of life in Christ Jesus, Yeshua, Come on. Come have on. made me free from the Woo. law of sin and death. Woo! Yes! For what the law could not do. Now you need to, that's, that's a title. That's the yeah. topic of our title today, right? For what the law <laughs> could not do. Well, in that it was weak through the flesh. Well, God sending His own Son mm, in the likeness of sinful flesh, in the in, likeness, in of the likeness of it, sinful flesh, and for sin, and for sin condemn sin in the flesh meaning look hey look i condemn you the stuff that's in our flesh in, in romans what is that in roman paul said paul said and also where in romans 6 i believe it said something he said in my flesh dwelleth no good thing oh, so yeah. if you try to sit there and try to accomplish something by the flesh there's nothing good in the flesh and it's weak but if we try to follow the law go ahead sir i'm sorry I understand there was only one uh-huh that could <laughs> Condemn sin, yes, sir. In the flesh, one. It while we sit there trying to, while we sit there trying to condemn <laughs> one another, <laughs> we it's only one that condemns sin in the flesh. Go and ahead. Outside of him, it, it's impossible for us to do it as well. Exactly. That's the whole okay. point we're trying to bring out. Go ahead, Eight sir. Four, that the righteousness of the law mm. might be fulfilled in us. Uh -huh. who walk not after the flesh wow. but after the spirit and you see the point I'm saying this might be for, for fulfilled yeah right yeah. is why we operate in the spirit in the spirit yes sir go ahead <laughs> for they that are after the flesh well do mind the things of the flesh mm -hmm. but they that are after the spirit the things of the spirit and one of the things people see, because Brother Addison, I, I want you to know when we go to the the commandments and the one about covet, covet, is that I looked it up some more. It's more like it's also in the form of lust and everything else, yeah. strong desires. And and believe it, and I thought I know you recognize it, but many people don't understand and they condemn themselves over this area, opposed to sitting there saying, you know what, I need to speak the things of God into my life, recognizing the Lord is a stronghold that I need to, to, to tear down and, and be spiritually minded, but don't condemn yourself because that's what the enemy wants you to do. Yeah. You walk in condemnation. How are you going to sit there and be able to? Condemnation means you're guilty and that you can't get out of it. Oppose the fact is all in the name of Jesus. That giant, just like David fought the, 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 the Goliath, you have to confront that thing and you have to confront it every day and that's what he gives you that's what the lord's prayer is about right brother i mean think about it every day you can sit there and say and forgive me of my debt forgive me of my sin and let me work on this thing again every day you get a chance to get it right i'm used to remember brother uh bell used to sit there and say you can't just you keep doing it you you, you you're wrong and i understand brother but the point we're trying to say is if you fight it every day then you one day you're going to have that victory but if you give in then then, then it's over <laughs> game well, over to, to understand that us trying to do it us trying to to defeat 
those sins that so easily beset us mm -hmm. is it's it's a setup yeah. because when we try to do it outside of Christ then failure is about to happen yes it's gonna happen yes because we we we, we are not capable of doing it or else Christ would have never come. Come on now. And what we need to understand is it must be done in the spirit. In the spirit. That's the victory that has been given us through Christ because he's already defeated. Yes. Every sin, every temptation, every unrighteous thing, he has defeated it and then gave us the authority and the power <clears throat> to do so as well. But Come on. we must walk in the spirit. It yes. must be done in the spirit. In and the spirit. Christ said, my words mm. are spirit. Come so on. That means that the word of God yes. is the weapon. It is the only weapon only that we have mm. when it comes to the armor of God. Come on now. Everything Come on. else is for defeat. Defense. Yes, sir. You, you, yes, sir. You defend yourself with everything else. But the word of God is the sword of the spirit. Yes. And yes. That is how you defeat it. Everything yes. else, you know, you get to the point to where you can speak those things that be Come not on. as though they are and mm. operate in faith. That is using the sword. But when you are sitting there and you're being attacked over and over and over, we must understand that the sh the, 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 the armor of God is to protect you and yes. to coach you and to cover you and keep you righteous until you do defeat it. Come on now. And, and it goes with the scripture and the scripture goes with that also in Corinthians. For the weapons of our warfare are not cardinal, but mighty through God, mighty through God yes. for the pulling down of strongholds, yes. casting down imagination and every high thing that exalts itself exalt against them. the knowledge of God, bringing what? Every thought unto captivity every to the thought. obedience of Christ. And that's and you, where it starts. It starts with a thought. Come on, it's brother. Not, and that's the only attack that the enemy can have yes. is by placing something in your mind mm -hmm. and you accept it and move it in that. So yes. we need to understand that something else that, mm. you know, God law mm. is not going to stop you no. from sinning. No. No. It, it will not stop you from sinning and it wasn't designed to stop you from sinning. That's why he said, says, yeah, the law was weak in, <laughs> in the flesh. flesh. Yeah. Made weak through Come the up. So yeah. we need to know that God's law only exposes man's <laughs> humanity. It only exposes yes, our sir. humanity. Now, man's law is to control man's <laughs> humanity. God is not trying to control you. No. no. He has given you free will. Yes, sir. And he will not usurp that authority that he has given to us. Yes. So it is a choice. You have a choice to live a righteous life through Yeshua. Jesus. Come on. And you have a choice to walk not in condemnation. Yes. A lot of us choose to be in condemnation. Choose to be in bondage. And because ministries have taught us to be in bondage, that to, to control us because it's not just the what the, the laws of the land that tries to control society or kind of keep society in, uh, in its place ministries family members family cultures family traditions are all things used to control people and to condemn people yes. and and the fact is we really need to get down to just back to the basic commandment that christ gave god gave god gave the children of he these were so important that these Ten Commandments that we may get to today or not is that he spoke to the children of Israel and told them. He talked to the Hebrews and said, thou shall not. And he sat down and went by each and last one of those. And we need to understand we can fulfill those commandments out of love. Amen. All right. The next one, the next scripture. Here it goes. Romans 6, sir. 8-6. For to be carnally minded is death. Mm, mm -hmm. We just finished talking about. Yes, sir. But to be spiritually minded is life and peace. Hey, no people want peace, don't they, brother? Like, how many people sit there and talk about they want peace? Come on now. Yeah. 
this 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 message today is to let you know how to get peace <laughs> just by going by the word of god operating in the spirit instead of in the flesh yeah. this is the day that the lord has made we shall rejoice and be glad in it hallelujah hallelujah to god be the glory for all the good things he's done in our lives hallelujah praise the lord Love you.